I know this is fixed it. The cars come back, the fix with the polymorph worked and little Oli Kins threw the car all over the place without any effect unfortunately. His big brother sat on it on the settee. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some more polymorph around the back of this and uh, lock it in place. So here we have it. As you can see the polymorph is still firmly stuck on the inside and there's the broken bit on the outside. Now that's of absolutely no use to me as an anchor point anymore. So what I'm going to do is to take this polymorph off and remove this and then that will actually allow me to include more polymorph in there which will give me better adhesion uh, when I put the thing back on. I have my heat gun set to 100 degrees so I don't want to melt this plastic too much but what I'll do is I'll melt the polymorph until it starts to become clear. I'll do it in sections and you'll see it turn once it starts to go. And you can see now it's beginning to turn. The main thing with these things is to uh, be patient. Okay, the polymorph on this side has turned, so let me just uh, warm it up on the other side. And you can see now it's becoming almost invisible on the camera. Okay, so now I can just peel that off. Now what I'll do is I'll heat this bit until it's uh, gone clear and then I will uh, position it back on there, it'll give me a, a solid base to work from. The main thing when you're doing this is don't lose your concentration, you don't want to be touching your hand with this or you might want to wear leather gloves in order to protect your hands in case you do make a mistake. Okay. As you can see that polymorphs become completely translucent. Okay. So I'll now just slot this on the back of the car where it was before. So I've polymorphed the inside and now I've polymorphed the outside and overlapped and basically done the edges. There is a quite a substantial section that goes right the way through from one side to the other and as you'll have seen from my uh, other polymorph videos its level of shrinkage and its strength is quite considerable so with those two pieces stuck together and stuck to the plastic itself I don't think that's going to come off in a hurry and uh, if it does I'll just warm it up and then put some screws in so I think that's going to be sufficient of a fix what I'll do now is let that cool and just make sure it's secure and then put the car back together and give it a try there you have it the car's back together and this is fixed it hope you like the video if you do please share it and give it a thumbs up thanks for watching bye